Hey, Instagram, it's me, T, from the Patterson's Taking the Trades to Bed. It's early morning, you know, it's after sunrise, but I mean, I've been up for, actually I haven't been up for a while, but I've been, don't worry, I'm up now, right? And uh, I got my snot rig here, I do it like that. Um, but here's the thing, it's a Saturday. No, it's not a Saturday, it's a Friday. What day is it, T, it's, it's a Friday. I need to go check one more time here. Oh, I know, I leave that there right there. Leave, you know, yes, it's a Friday. Am I back? Oh, sorry, sorry, I had to. It's a Friday. Now, Friday is one of those days where whatever happens through the week, then I sort of process it or something happens on Friday, right? I have a name, there's a week wrap up stuff that happens during I got Don't worry about that part. Saturday, tomorrow is like whatever comes to my head. That's easier to, to label, right? Sunday is like a I'll put my shroud back on. I'm doing white shroud. Uh, well, was, was it up to Sunday yet? Sunday is like uh, I usually try something reading and riff off that reading thing. Um, Monday is me day, talk about me. Uh, Tuesday is U.S. politics or so U.S. day. Uh, Wednesday is uh, World Day. And Thursday is Order Drum Day. And then, you know, we have Friday right now. So uh, there's some stuff that's been happening. Okay, you know, the elections happen, whatever have you. Now, so I've been paying attention. Not really. Well, I had such good, uh, a couple of days ago, I did the popcorn thing and just watched all the reaction of people losing their mind. Oh, I don't know, I leave the States. Oh, uh. What offends me most, really, is this started a while ago uh, uh, when all these pundits from, uh, all these people from other countries, you know, their, their naturalized system, the naturalized citizens that came from uh, the UK or I don't know, Australia, Canada, whatever have you, and they're going to comment on, you know, U.S. politics, right? And they, they sometimes they, when they become naturalized citizens, or, but let me put it this way, they got lineage other places, then they come here and become experts, right? They got to comment on our political thing, comment on our social, comment on our cultural things, right? And I'm going like, I don't need to be listening to you. You ain't got nothing to say to me, you know? Go back to your own, comment on your country thing. You got... Anyway, let me leave that alone. Here's what's also been happening. I'm sitting here realizing, because remember when, when uh, Trump did the Joe Rogan thing, what it did for me, it, made, it humanized him. You know, I found out some stuff I'm going like, like uh, and I'll get back to that later. So, and then J.D. Vance did, did it too, right? And, and I'm going like, it humanized him too. And I realized from him that He's the kind of guy, he gotta have, he's like, he gotta have fun, right? I'm not jumping on these people, I'm just telling, I'm reporting, right? I'm <laughs> doing a journalistic thing, right? Uh, and and so, so I got two people that, 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 that were humanized, right? Uh, and on the Democrat side, because they don't do long forms, you know, you can only get, you know, what, what they feed you. So, that's what it is. But here's what I learned from the, from the, um, from the Trump, uh, Joe Rogan thing. Uh, you know, he was, his first season, or whatever, he was, everything was forced upon him. He didn't even know he was going to win. So all the, all the, his officials around him were forced upon him, right? This time, uh, what's happening, like, like he just named a, a chief of staff, and she's a woman that was with him with, with the first campaign, whatever. So in other words, in these years that Biden was in office, four years, right? And he's out of, he's sort of built up his inner team, because now they're in a the political arena. And he was going, so he built up his team. Okay, hold on to that thought. So, uh, uh, in fact, let me, how should I do this? Let me do it, let me do it this way. Um, when COVID happened, I ended up, I was stuck in the States for like a year. I couldn't, I couldn't come here to South Africa, you know, because they weren't letting nobody in the country. And then there was all kinds of things, you know. I was in New York for a while, in the epicenter, when it was the epicenter. I was in, uh, well, I was in Virginia for a second, whatever. Uh, then I was in St. Louis, was when I got the, it was the epicenter. <laughs> It was crazy, right? I know what I did. I would I'd be walking the dog, you know, every every uh, every morning, right? And one time I came past a guy. He had a Trump flag out. This was uh, during COVID. He had a Trump flag out, right? And so you know, I hell, whatever I keep on. He, and he's out there reading. He's got a under an umbrella, and he's reading, reading, reading something. And I give a wave. He, he asked me to come over. Well, I, I guess well. So I came over. Why? I'm just that guy, you know. What I mean? <laughs> just, that's what I did. Everybody's afraid of COVID, or whatever. Uh, I wasn't. <laughs> I won't get into that right now. 
So I get that he's reading the Bible. So I, then, then we can start talking about. And the, I we used to get a Trump flag, so he's a Trump supporter. So I started talking to him. So I, I then I started to come by, uh, not every day, but every once in a while, and I whipped out my camera. I started interviewing him. This start. In fact, he was one of those people that uh, when what was that when when the Republicans back in the New Gingrich days when the Republicans had their little thing and they, and, they, and they kicked out all those those Republicans that were that, whatever they were doing they kicked them out I forget what that movement was but they they, they, they basically got, got rid of a lot of these guys that was rhinos Republican name they did something right he was one of those kind of guys he's like so my age you know and um, so I found it fascinating so I would talk to him but here's a trick see you have to understand I'm 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 a trained journalist. Let's put it that way. <laughs> but more importantly, I like interviewing people. I like 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 talking to people. So here's the way I approached him because of what he was. Uh, every time I come by, he'd be out there reading the Bible. So I said, "Well, what you read?" You know. And so we talk a little bit about the Bible. That's my entree. You know. It, I was humanizing. I was being human, and he was responding to my humanness. Let's put it that way. And so and and then we start talking about stuff. And I would basically, you, it's, it's on my YouTube channel, Anthony J. Sloan YouTube channel. Go to the a playlist with the interview. Somewhere it's in there. I call it the dump. Uh, I, I use uh, uh, Trump's um, name before his grandfather, father changed the name from, from dump to Trump. Because you know, I guess whatever lineage is out there in Europe, right? So, but you see, I, it's like four or five interviews I did over, over the years, really. Uh, oh, oh, four or five interviews in that time period. And it was really quite fascinating because a lot of times we would talk and they said, and they said, yeah, I, I can see that. You can see that we, we, we were humans, right? In fact, I even went to, he was a Republican, well, I even went to Republican meetings then, two, two, invited to two, at, 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 you know, and, and I get it. Was, it was fascinating hanging out with the Republicans, seeing what they, you know, the, the meetings that they, uh, for the local you know, when they, they get candidate from, uh, candidates, from one time they had, there was screening candidates to, to run, and it's really whacked out, you know, person came in, and when he left, they had to discuss this thing, and they, they were all like, nah, that's like that, okay. In fact, when I come here, there was a couple of black people, there was one black person, obviously he's, you know, with them, whatever, having, he gave me the, not the, the scant eye, you know, like, what's this young, you know, I say young, I mean, What's this cat that looks like me coming into the thing for? Is, uh, is he come here to threaten me? Is he a spy? Whatever have you. So, and one time, <coughs> then another time I came. So it was interesting. I was I was in this, this a local meeting. The ones you should be involved in. Like if you say I'm a, I'm a politics, but well, start going to local board meetings, local uh, club meetings, or whatever have you. And you don't have to go to uh, say uh, your whatever your pro. Like if you want to be a uh, Democrat, well, you can go to others and see what lay the land, see what's going on. That's what journalists do, right? Okay. Uh, so that was that showed me a, 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 lot, a lot of things. And, and I guess because what I'm trying to say is stop locking your, this identity politics. Ah, I don't know why. You, I'm on this team. I'm going to ignore everything else. I'm not going to do any research on the other side or whatever it is. Okay. So now let's go back to this whole this win for it. The Trumpies or whatever it is. Um, so I'm looking at it and he's, he's, he's starting to do some things that's kind of interesting. You know, the first female chief of staff. Uh, let's see how the, uh, the uh, keep on these labels, the left handles that. <laughs> but here's what I, what I got from that also, the, what I've been li li listening to, uh, because they got that, that Ben, you, whatever, that guy from Iran that, and he's oh he's pro he's an American nationalist now the greatest country whatever he was on there with Candace Owen and some other people uh, this comedian not comedian <coughs> well some other people and I'm looking uh, I'm sorry I gotta jump back again when this whole when uh, Biden jumped down and they was you know before they named Kamala I thought uh, and what what was happening on the oh, oh that's right. Uh, Trump had already showed J.D. Vance. Everybody said, who is J.D. Vance? And blah, blah, blah. And I thought at that point, I think I made a video of it. I said, well, I think what's going to happen in the next, this next time, they're basically auditioning who's going to be the candidate in, uh, what was this, 24, 2028. You know, they're going to jack the people, right? So clearly for me, after a while, I said, well, J.D. Vance, 
they, they're going to see what he does, but you know, there'll, there'll be other people jockeying. And on the, on the Democrats, side, even before they, I mean, they, they pick Harris, but the point. But I say, there are going to be people jockeying to see who's be the best candidate for in four years. So it wasn't about this election, it's the next four years. Well, unfortunately, you know, they picked that, the, the Walter, you know, uh, that wasn't a good pick for for jockeying the who was going to come in 2028. I guess they thought that, I guess they thought that Kamala was, I don't know what, what they thought. Okay. So I'm looking at this stuff, and then I learned from, who was it? Oh, that thing with Candace? Well, anyway, Candace has been doing a lot of stuff, right? And, uh, and, and she does what the internet is made for. She does the research. She's got a team. Her team does the research, and then they can, you know, um, do whatever. She's very. She's a very good communicator. You know, like she's a like, like Corey Holcomb is a great communicator. You know, there's a bunch of great communicators out there. So I'm looking at at, at Candace, and then I'm realizing that JD Vance. Were I, as an audio dramatist, here's how I would do the scenario for the Republicans for the next few years, right? J.D. Vance, obviously, you know, he's going to be vice president, so uh, Donald Trump's not going to run again, so that means that he might, he'll probably be the candidate in 2028, right? So they got to find somebody else to, to uh, for the next, for his vice president, right? So say 2028, and then what's the next one? 20, 2032? Okay. So that, that person, that J.D. Vance, is, is be a vice president, right? And then 32. Yeah, the 32, and then the next one would be 36, right? 2036. So they're trying to do this all the way, right? So whoever the vice president, they might, they might try to get them for that. Here's what I would do, though. I would pick somebody for the vice president that, that just has a lot of policy that, that's going to change policy the way, it but doesn't really want to be the, the next president in the 32 election, right? Uh the, uh, the end of the 32 election, I would pick the vice a vice president that you do want to run for that. So that that that, that vice president that that JD Vance picks becomes just not a placeholder, but a policy enabler. You know, put things in place, a you know, long-term thing. Somebody that's likable that can help, uh, that can go campaigning for for local politics. That's why I brought up the thing about being local. It, 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 that was in St. Louis where I was with that guy. Local people. Then I'm talking about party politics now. Okay, now here's a trick. I would say, in 2032, yeah, uh, uh, the person I would pick as that next, the, the, the vice president for the for for JD whoever, the JD guy who's not going to be able to run because that would be his second term, right? I would pick somebody like, if not uh, Candace, right? By then she'll have whatever she's done. Da 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 da. We're not going to put it in right away. Of course, he's going to do some other stuff, still be sniping, and da 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 da. Anyway, it's a, it's a strategy, right? So that's what I would do. The Democrat, they're, they're told, stick a fork in them. They're stupid. They're, they're, I bet you, in, even as it's post mortem, they are not going to give themselves a right debriefing what happened, how do we do, whatever it is. Like when I went to that, uh, those Republican meetings in St. Louis, you know, you can tell they were talking strategy. There's things in place and da da da. Very interesting, local, lo local. And that's what, you, that's what everybody should be doing. They should be doing that, that local research. They should be uh, visit, visiting the, I won't say it, the opposition to see what lay the land. That's what you're supposed to If you start a business, you, you, you're going to look at what other businesses are in the area, right? That's what it is. Okay, so let's leave that alone. Y'all can leave right now. I'm going to say something that's so outrageous so you really understand. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Is a bad man. I mean that in my, in Muhammad Ali, but you know, early, you know, fight. He's a bad man. Why is he, what, brother? Why is he a bad man? His middle name is John. Let me tell you the the, the legend of a John. I'm not talking about John, sexual John. In fact, that's the other thing. Trump don't have them bad habits. Oh my, he might grab him by the by the, by the blah, 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 blah. but you know, he don't drink, he don't smoke, you know, so he can concentrate, right? Okay. My middle name is John. Okay, my first name is Anthony. My last name is Sloan. Anthony, the Anglo root meaning of Anthony is incomparable. The Anglo root meaning of Sloan is warrior. So I'm an incomparable warrior. So this John, I never liked the name John when I was, I shouldn't say never liked. I was sort of indifferent. Well, I really didn't appreciate the name John, right? So in my, but in the lineage, in the, in the folklore of the, like I'm, I'm, I'm an American African, you know, going through the whole thing with the, with, my lineage goes through the, you know, my, my 
great grandfather's color kichi. Like a, the point is, it goes through the whole enslaved, captive enslavement. You know, the, the Jim Crow, the lynchings, the redlinings, the the where the pop lines, the whatever. Uh, my whole, people in my family experienced all that stuff. Okay, but legend has it that back in slave days, the the slave the, the the slave that was John, right? Uh, the 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 master whatever because he had to run errands like that and I actually he had to run errands right so they would send him to town for this you know we had the little the, the little uh, board on you like like dog tags you know tell you where, where, where plantation from and da 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 because so he's going around da 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 but he it's John he always knew more than he's, he's, he's almost like think of him as an allegra he knew, always he always knew more than he was letting on. Like he could read, but he wouldn't say he could read. You know, he could write, but he wouldn't tell me he could write. He would, he would be with the the, 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 the field slaves. He was a he was a house slave, house. Let me say enslaved, a house enslaved. But he had a relationship with the field enslaved. The field enslaved knew that he was, you, you know, hey, we should blah blah blah. Okay. So, in my so so, so it would be like say like he's going to town. He go. You go past it, some some white person or something. Hey, hey boy, didn't you see that sign? He said, "Well, that, that's it. he says, no, I can't read, boss. You know, and it they get frustrated. Let go. Very smart. Think of him as an as the Uncle Tom. Okay, I know that's because y'all ain't read Harriet Beecher Stowe, Uncle Tom. But you know, Uncle Tom is not the bad guy in the thing. It's, it's, it's the Sambo is the bad guy. Anyway, but we won't get into that. But Uncle Tom protected the slaves, ran basically ran the the, the, the first leg of the underground railroad to get people out of it of having. Now there was a movie, one of my favorite movies, uh, called Mandalay, but by Lars Rentier. Uh, Danny Glover was in it. My question always was, well, Uncle Tom stayed behind, right? But what 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 what, what happened, right? And and Mandalay, go see that movie. Get it? It's a, it's a great movie. Uh, uh, that answers the question. Because it's like, uh, basically, uh, what's his name? Uh, Danny Glover's character plays like the Uncle Tom that stayed around. What would happen, right? Now, and when you come up with this thing, uh, Lauren, Lauren Bacall is in it. She plays the, the, the I guess, the, the mistress of the house, the one that, you know, with the, the, the slave master died and she was the next thing. But the way the Danny Glover character, the Uncle Tom character, they manipulated it, he manipulates her. So basically, he runs the plantation. But... The way he runs it is like, you know, everything's smooth. But the outside world still thinks it's like, you know, the, the matter or whatever, how he runs everything. But it's really the Danny Glover character. Okay. I call that the John character. Okay. You can't beat the John character. The John character is slick. It's not as it seems. The John character throwing this out to you. You're, you're, you're jumping over there and then meanwhile accomplishing that. So for me, Trump, I look at it as Trump. Is is John? Is a Trump? Trump is a John. He's a he's a trickster. He uh he's he's a joker. Oh, that's the other thing about JD Rich <laughs> and Trump. You can tell they're having fun. You know, the Donald Trump. Why? Even that. Think of this, the song. What's the village people? Those are what the, the the you know the, the the Indian guy, the the black guy, the gay guy. The, they had that's, that's the group, right? So he's he's. Do, he's doing identity politics in this song. It's hilarious, right? And nobody's picked that up. Well, but I don't know. I haven't watched everything. But the left don't pick that up. Why is why is this theme song uh, uh, song of here we go? Inclusion and diversity. It's hilarious. This thing. Why? Because people have chosen their thing and they latched on to it. And since they think that Trump is bad, they just attack him for being bad. They don't understand. He's a John. He's not what he seems. Unless. That's all I have to say. So, a couple of things I'm trying to put out here. One, Trump is well, as I always say, Trump is smarter than you are. But he's he he got a, he's having a good. He wants to change his legacy. He wants to if they look if he has his way, there'll be a fifth president on Mount Mount Rushmore, and it will be him. That's the way. But that's narcissistic. No, it's not narcissistic. It's what is that's what he wants to do. I mean, well, maybe it's narcissistic. It's what he wants to do. So anyway, so I want to leave you with that just to tell you. This is hilarious to me. And if you don't have the strategy and tactics, you don't have proper debriefing, you're gonna get washed up, you know? And that's one of the, one of the things uh, that, that's happening. The, 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 the repubs, 
you know, under the leadership of, of uh, Donald John Trump, who has basically taken over the party and they got to do his vision rather than the normal visions like that. They got strategy and tactics. The, the Dems with the, uh, I guess, I guess, I think AOC must have made a, 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 a Ocasio-Cortez person, she must have tried to make a deal with uh, Nancy Pelosi that Nancy Pelosi, I'll hand the reins over to you. But they don't have any strategy and tactics. They don't know how to, you know, how to debrief. They're not going to take the blame. They're not going to be honest. That's the whole interesting thing. So, it's so interesting. So I've given you, uh, I've given you a whole thing. I, I go, I go outside because all this other stuff that people are reacting to, you know, you can see that everybody's saying the same thing. So I'm just giving you some other stuff to think about. You can thank me in a in a few months when you see this thing starts shaking out, or a few years, whatever it is. Talk to you later.